Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the study manuals for the T's. If you do not own this book already, or just one immediately, you're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 81. Please turn to it, page number 81, and today is our lesson number 29. Let's take a look at it. Lesson number 29 on page 81. Two point three five. Two point three five. We are told we have a guy who gets paid. He gets paid ten dollars and twenty cents per hour. We are also told that each straw weighs. Each straw weighs one point two grams. As you can see already that is the plot is thickening quite rapidly we are also told that the box of 50 is supposed to weigh or rather we are told that the box of 50 weighs 58.8 gram should he approve the box. That is that is the question of the utmost gravity that this gentleman must address. You understand? We'll worry about this part in a second. Of course you know it. A lot of the words I point out are very simple words I know for native speaker. I make fuss about that because I don't know if you realize it or not. I'm not a native speaker. You know? That's a shocker. Should he approve the box? Well let's find out, shall we? Each straw, we are told, is supposed to weigh 1.2 gram. So here's our solution. One straw, one is supposed to weigh 1.2 gram. Well, if one is supposed to weigh 1.2 gram, that tells us that 100 should weigh 100 should weigh 100 times the amount, which is 1.2 times 100. And that's quite straightforward. Just multiply 12 times 100, that's 1200. 12 times 1, forget the decimal, 12 times 100 is 1200. And then move the decimal place by one spot from, from here. The decimal place is here. Move it one spot, it becomes 120. It becomes 120 grams. That's the weight of 100 straws. And that, that, that therefore, that tells us, therefore, 50 should weigh half of that. 50 should weigh half of that. Half of 120. Half 120 over 2 is 60 grams. 50 straws should weigh 60 grams. That's what they're supposed to weigh. But the box that he's looking at weighs only 58.8 grams. Alas. Turns out that we have an anticlimax. We are unable to approve this box. Why? Because, well, let's find out, shall we? We're supposed to weigh, this is the, the box is supposed to weigh 60 gram. The box, actual box weighs 58.8 gram. How much short are we? We are short 1.2 gram. What do you suppose that is? Well, 1.2 gram tells me, 1.2 gram tells me that I need one more straw. Oh my God, we only have 49 straws. The million dollar question is, what was all this muck about? What was all that about? That he gets paid ten dollars and twenty cents. But that was irrelevant. That was unneeded, unwanted, unrequired, unnecessary, unwarranted. It was just there, just to fill up the space. Let's learn this word. Grave. Shall we? Grave is obviously the first meaning. We are not using it here. We said that uh, the, the the answer that he must uh, question that he must address uh, is of what most gravity. Gravity in the, in the form of a noun, gravity, of course, in seriousness, a grave matter is a serious matter. We covered this thing on day number 22, on day number 22 of our vocabulary lesson. 
That's it, we're done. The last thing that I want to do, one more time, this part that I was talking about, I don't know if you're interested in, in working on your vocabulary or not, but for whatever it's worth, this part that is given to us, this part that is given to us is, as I said, unnecessary. We never used it. It's unnecessary, unwanted, unrequired, uncalled for, unwarranted. It is superfluous. We don't need it. It's just there to fill up the space. This, this part that we see here is, Gratuitous. Then we learned that word from day number 47. As I always tell you, it does not hurt to improve your vocabulary. Not for this exam, particularly, obviously. But life in general. Gratuitous and superfluous were the words that we learned on day number 47 of our vocabulary lesson. Just type in vocabulary words, day 47 along with my name, Kishwani, and we'll pop right up. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.